Look at this place. This is uh, Menards. A lot of a lot of the world doesn't have Menards, but the good old Midwest, they're all over the place. This is the outdoor lumber yard. It's like Home Depot, Lowe's on steroids. You got everything here, all undercover. It's a monster post frame building. Pretty killer. So what we got to do now is because of the multiple layers that were torn off of the side, uh, we've got a little bit more of an overhang than we really want on this house that doesn't have an overhang. So what we got to do is we're going to actually build up this section up here. We're going to use a couple two buys to kind of thicken it up, give it somewhat of a little bit of an overhang, and then that'll also give it somewhat of a soffit appearance. Give us a nice place to mount our gutter that's going to go around and a nice termination of our siding to die into that trim. Kind of like a freeze board look, if you will. Um, kind of winging it a little bit, but I think it's going to look good. So stay tuned. I guess we'll see how it turns out. We changed our mind. We were going to dense pack these cavities, but because maybe I'm type A, maybe I worry, I want to make sure it's as good as possible. So we're going to go ahead and put an R13 bat in here um, and make sure that all of these odd cavities, uh, areas around like up here, we've got some, some returns or some ducts for the furnace. We want to make sure we get that as good as possible or some insulation before we go ahead and get that LP sheeting back on the... Uh, the sidewalls for our structure so that we can have a nice place to install windows and LP siding. You got it. Well, you can hold that for a second so I can get off the ladder. Yep, got it. Um, Got it. Yes. Got it? Okay, yep. I got it. Let it go. I got it. Oh my gosh, my house is going to be so hot. <sighs> no, man, it's going to be awesome. We're getting new windows. It's going to be energy efficient. Oh, afterwards. You know what they say, Greg. Sometimes you got to go through a little bit of pain to feel a little bit of pleasure. Here's what really yeah. sucks for you. All of this, got to cut back. <laughs> That's going to make a mess. Now we'll vacuum it. I'll vacuum. You'll vacuum it. That's a lot of cold air coming out. Yeah, that's a lot of hot air coming in. So our goal is to basically remove a window, insulate, sheet with some new 716 LP sheeting. Then when we get that all done, we're gonna go ahead and house wrap. And we're gonna leave. Hey, I just thought of this. Can we really leave the openings not cut? Cause then how are you gonna house wrap? We're gonna think about this. Yeah. My, my, uh, tactic was always kind of like to get it in on one side and then I was like hitting both sides at the same time working like up or down. Okay, well we have different tactics. But yeah. since there's two guys here like we can do it however we want. Yeah. Two is better than one. This is a friction fit craft unfaced sorry. You're doing it under your ladder? Yeah. Unfaced R13 bat. Really with a 2 by 4 wall unless we spray foam we're not going to get a whole lot more Greg so I would say, how do you know somebody is not a true professional insulator, Greg? By their knife. Yeah. We're not using, I we're agree. not using like legit insulator knives. I don't um, want to be a pro. We have some good like multiple cuts. Dang it, dude, we're going to not make this mistake. So, we need all the windows out first and we snap a four foot line so we can run our sheeting. Mm. Let's take all these windows out, we'll snap a line. What are we going to do about all this stuff? Just cut around it. Watch the top. Got it. ABC? Yeah. Let me 
actually the windows are ordered. Yeah. Rip it, dude. Oh, look at that bathroom, dude. Yeah. Great. That's where all the men are kept. Something's holding, man. This top. Right here. No, it's top. No, I'm catching something. Boom. Okay, you got it. So I go down. You didn't take the shade off. <laughs> All right. uh, you got it. Yeah, sure. All right. So we're doing this just so we have a nice starting point, Greg. So we can make sure that we're that running perfectly idea. straight. Good? Yeah. You got a fan on in there, Greg? Yeah. Sleep with it? Yeah. You just leave it on all hours of the day? Yep. So what else you got in here, I see? You got a snowboard on your bed? Yep. It was about the window. Did you sleep with that? <laughs> yeah. You can like one hand this? Mm, yeah. For sure. Like kind of like you're you aren't a little. Oh, all right. Okay. All right, okay. Come okay. On, okay. Come on. You ready? No. Okay. Let's go. Oh. oh yeah. This must be our LP. Yep. Yeah. Feels good to finally be putting the sheeting up on the house. So, you know, the unfortunate thing is this, this is gonna be without windows for about a week. We got the windows ordered, but we're not gonna see them for a week. So we're gonna go ahead and sheet it. Then we can get it covered in house wrap and then we'll kind of pull back the house wrap so we can cut out all the window openings and install the windows. Uh, but in the meantime, hopefully we'll get the house sheeted and then can start laying out some of the trim like up here at the soffit fascia line, get that looking good. I don't know, door trim, stuff like that. But uh, regardless, it's been a long time coming, a lot of demo work, and now we're finally getting it put back together, which feels good. You got this? Man, I didn't realize you were gonna struggle so much. No, I was just getting the balance. Oh, okay, okay. okay. So I'm assuming we're probably gonna go like- Wait, 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 wait that, we got that here. sheet that was the four footer, right? Yeah. It's just over four foot? Yeah. It's 50 inches. 50? Okay, so that ain't gonna work. What about over here? Oh, doesn't matter. Just go right there. Go down center over there, Zach? Hey everyone, we're out here on a Saturday morning. I got Cole helping me out. Greg's out right now, but he should be back soon. Cole. Yeah. You hear that? What? Yeah. Cole, mm -hmm. So if doing that, you're, you're not sucking anything. Yeah. Right here. So we gotta take the thing off. See? Can't suck that up. That's not gonna work too well. This just went with the uh, thing that was stuck yep. down in there. Mm -hmm. So I got Cole out here helping me and we're trying to prep this area. Um, I don't typically like to work on Saturdays, however, uh, I would like to get this covered up for Greg, get it insulated. You know, we are still in summer, so we're not spending a ton of money on, you know, cooling bills, even though 
there's never been insulation in this house, which is crazy to me, and the efficiency has been pretty good. So Greg's gonna be home soon, and uh, we're gonna start working on pulling these windows out, I think. Dad. Yes? There's literal sap in Greg's wood. Yeah, a lot of pine like that. The sap will come out of it. Yeah, I, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Like, where do where you stop? <laughs> Hey, Rick. I think. Thanks, buddy. I don't know. I don't know what to do with this. I think the battery's down in the vacuum. Okay. Here's the thing: it's got one bar, but like, it won't strike. What do you so think? Where are the batteries? In the trailer, in the bag. You want to try and shoot the uh, um, Star Wars gun? What would kind that of, be? Kind of sounds like a Star Wars gun. Like a laser beam. Doesn't it? Yeah. I'm going to put a stun blush or something. Mm-hmm. Probably wish you were just kayaking right now, huh? Yeah. Anybody kayaking? No. I think it's fine, Greg. I think we can... Okay, pull it out enough. Yeah, get some of the weight of it. And then as long as we support it... So you want to like grab here and then grab... I'm going to grab here because I think that this these two windows are not the same. No, they're not. So I'm hoping to find a balance point in the middle that we can kind of lean it down. Okay. Okay. Where's the mount? Okay. Okay. Oh shoot. oh shoot, shoot, yeah. That's not bad. Okay, let's set it down. Oh. That wasn't bad at all. Nah, it was heavy, but it wasn't bad. So I'm assuming at this point that people are just gonna think that we're either boarding up this house to be tore down or something because that's what it looks like. But actually I'm pretty happy because I think it's going to uh, make this house uh, so much more refreshed and new once we put the new siding up, the new windows. And uh, I think overall it's gonna add a lot of great appeal to the house other than just taking the siding off and putting it on. So sometimes you gotta go through a little bit of extra work to get to where you wanna be. But uh, yeah, Saturday, we're gonna head home. We're tired and it's the weekend. So we'll be back here on Monday and hopefully we'll finish up the plywood, get it wrapped for now and wait for our windows to come in end of the week. You know, I knew something didn't feel right about this remodel. It was that I hadn't used my Sawzall and a good reset blade throughout like the whole project. Thankfully, we have this uh, blocking for the porch with these metal rods that we had to cut out. Dude, this, these blades will cut through metal like it's, I just want to keep cutting actually. We got any more to cut? Let me, just... let me, uh, let me cut this. Yeah, I'll let you. Get it yeah, it's a brand new 
Freud. A this is a Ooh. this is a Freud Industrial. Ooh. Forty-eight tooth. Basically, Ooh. it's probably gonna cut like butter. Ooh. Are you ready for this though? Uh, maybe. I don't know if I am. Uh, you might move your end. Can you move your end down there. So smooth. Oh my I guess I need to go a little deeper. A little deeper. I mean, like, yeah, it's always been trouble. We've never gotten deep enough. I've always been just shy of full depth. Mm. Clean. Dang. You know, I put a post up on Instagram. Did you see it? Uh, which one? About the track saw. I don't know if I've seen that one or not. And the number of people that were like, uh. I could never have that on the job site because my guys would ruin it. I'm like, wait, then fire your guy. Like, you yeah, if your guys treat your guys can't treat your tools good. How, is, treat you good. How are they supposed to treat your clients good? People said that they could cut as straight as a track saw faster with a circular saw. Like, come on, no, you can't. As straight, this is perfect. Even if you're doing a circular saw, you're still gonna get off a little bit. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, so what's my measurement over? 38 and an eighth, then 31 down. No, 31 up. Up, yeah. And then how far over from there to the other side? Mmm, I didn't get that. That's what I'm here for, man. I'm here for you, Greg. Don't forget that. Dang, dude, who cut this? Not bad. P-H-A-T wire. I think you're gonna to wanna to hire a licensed electrician normally, Greg, but we're pretty pretty good at this. I've, I've done wire in a tower too. All right, I'm insulating and starting the sheet. What are we doing with the uh, doorbell? We're getting rid of that. Yeah, if I, if I get a doorbell, I'm just gonna get it for uh, get a wireless one. Yeah, them are the best. All right, so to find the center of this round box, Greg, what I like to do is take my square. All right. All right, man. And you can set it on top of the box and run it squared up to the material you're measuring against. Okay. Does that make sense? Okay. I know it's a four inch box, so I can come in here and mark two inches, and that should be the center of my hole. Okay. Now what I can do is basically use this against the material right there to determine the distance away from my center. Okay. okay. Which we're gonna go about two and a half. That gives me my uh, gap for my expansion and 20 and 7 eighths. Okay, so here's my center point, right? I'm gonna take a nail. Important thing is you gotta make sure that you got good, good pencil. So we're gonna get some nice long lead. We know that this is the edge of my circle. So I'm gonna take my square in here, okay? Now with the Martinez, we got all these sweet lines. Look at this. I'm going to find a line, the scribe line, that is right where I want it. Now, we got our nice four inch circle here, and that should be a perfect fit if we did everything else correctly. So we'll go ahead and cut it out and we'll try it. way to get a nice perfect circle using a square that's actually shaped like a triangle. It seems like this project took forever to get done with the demo, be able to put back together, but we finally have all the sheeting done. Just a little bit of fascia to work on right here with some drip where we took off that little porch roof, but we're finally gonna start putting our house wrap back on. We got a little chance of rain tonight, so hopefully we can get it all covered up, at least waterproofed or weatherproofed until we get our siding installed. 
I'm tired. Demo is tough. Mentally, physically, remodeling, it takes a lot out of you. So a lot of respect to all the remodelers out of there. Uh, I remember what it used to be like now that I'm doing it again. So uh, maybe I remember also why I changed to post frame because it, it is a lot more fun.